The solution to the end of the world in the core is as audacious as its problem, building a ship capable of traveling to the center of the Earth. Here, science fiction truly runs riot. The vehicle, dubbed Virgil, is constructed from a fictional material called unobtainium, a metal whose atomic structure strengthens under heat and pressure. This material not only withstands but converts these extreme forces into usable energy, powering the ship's systems in an impossible feedback loop. Its propulsion and drilling system rely on an array of ultrasonic lasers capable of vaporizing the rock in front of them, opening a tunnel that reseals afterward. As they delve deeper, communications with the surface are cut off, plunging them into absolute isolation. The Terranauts on board see this world not through windows, but through complex sonic mappings, feeling with every creak of the hull the pressure of thousands of atmospheres trying to crush them like a soda can. The journey takes us through the layers of the Earth, reimagined with spectacular creative freedom. They pass through the crust and mantle, where they discover a giant geode, a cavern filled with amethyst crystals the size of skyscrapers. The film visualizes the Gutenberg discontinuity, the boundary between the mantle and the core, not as a simple change in density, but as a turbulent vacuum zone that nearly destroys the ship. In reality, the mantle is a layer of solid rock that flows like a plastic solid. Upon reaching the outer core, a hell of liquid metal at over 4,000 degrees Celsius, a turbulent ocean where they navigate among diamonds the size of icebergs, unaware that they would float or instantly dissolve in the molten iron. Each obstacle is a violation of physics, but serves as a brilliant visual metaphor for the extreme conditions beneath our feet. The Virgil is an impossible machine for an impossible journey.